Good afternoon and uh, welcome to this remote meeting of Whittle Council Licensing Committee. I am Councillor Paul Stewart and I am Chair of the Committee. Joining me is Councillor Dave Mitchell and Councillor Mike Collins and we form the decision making panel today. We are joined by licensing officers who will present reports and provide any, evidence, any advice that may be required. We have investigating officers who will provide reports of clarification around investigations and council solicitor who will give advice to the committee on the procedural and legal matters that may arise. There is also the minute taker and IT support. This meeting will be webcast and a record retained on the council website. For those at home viewing the webcast, I would like to inform you that if you look above the video, you will see a resources tab. Select this and a link to the agenda will appear in the right hand side. This will allow you to open the agenda in a PDF format and follow discussion and debate. My role is to ensure that the committee runs smoothly having regards to procedure, behaviour and ethics. I would like to remind everyone in attendance to turn off their video and mute their sound until invited to participate by the chair. When the chair asks you to participate, please turn on your camera first then unmute yourself, say your name before contributing. To indicate to the chair that you'd like to speak, please use the chat function by typing Q and enter, and this will indicate to me that you wish to come in. I will now ask, I will now ask um, all those present to introduce themselves, starting with council officers. I'm Margaret O'Donnell, I'm the Licensing Manager. Uh, hello, good, good afternoon, uh, Ken Abraham, Senior Sister and Legal Advisor to the Subcommittee, uh, the panel, sorry. I'm Margaret Calvert, I'm Licensing Team Leader. Um, I'm Beecham, Committee Officer. Okay, thank you. Um, so, mem Members Code of Conduct, um, can I ask for any declarations of interest? I have none. Thank you, Councillor. I have none, as I was saying, Michael. <laughs> thank you, Councillor. Um, so, now move on to Item 2. Can I ask um, Margaret to introduce the report, please? The purpose of this report is for the licensing panel to consider an application to approve a Ford Mondeo registra registration number AO63 FDL as a private hire vehicle which is fitted with rear quarter light windows which do not meet the council's criteria for licensing private hire vehicles. Sorry. In September 2017, members of the Licensing, Health and Safety and General Purposes Committee approved criteria for the licensing of private hire vehicles and a copy of the criteria is attached to Appendix 1, uh, one of the report. Um, paragraph 36 of the criteria states that the front windscreen must let in at least 75% of light through and all other windows must let at least 70% of light through. The applicant, Mr Powell, has replaced the rear screen and rear passenger door windows so that they comply with the Council's criteria for licensing private hire vehicles. The applicant advises that he's not been able to replace the rear quarter light windows due to financial reasons, and these windows are positioned adjacent to the boot of the vehicle, and photographs of the vehicle are attached at Appendix 2 to the report. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Margaret. Um, do members have any questions to Margaret with regards to the report? Uh, not from me, no. no. None from me, thank you. Okay, thank you. So, members have had opportunity to have a look at the photographs that are in the report. Um, is there any questions with regards to those photographs? Uh, none from me, thank you. No, I'm quite happy with the photographs, uh, given enough information. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, I just want to um, just point out that the, the the windows that can't be um, that the tent can't be lightened. Um, can the officer just confirm they are windows that only um, cover the boot? You can view into the boot from that. Yes, that's correct. The the windows concerned are fitted with the aerials for the vehicle and the cost of replacing those is uh, very high. Okay. Do members have any contributions to make? I'd just say, having seen the photographs and studied our policy, I think it, it's quite acceptable for us to allow this to go ahead, given that it's only the rear quarter lights that affect visual uh, access into the the rear of the vehicle. You can still see the passengers and people in the front. Thank you, Councillor. Yeah, that, that's exactly my my uh, point. My my concern is that as long as they can see the people sitting in the back back seat, I think we're quite happy with that. We've looked at other cars where they haven't. We couldn't see anyone in the back seat, but at least we can see them in the back seat with that. So I'm more than happy. And he's gone to some exp expense to make sure that he can comply with the rest of the windows. Okay, thank you. Um, so the panel will now um, retire into private to uh, make our decision on uh, this application and the remainder of the meeting will be held in private for confidentiality um, reasons. Um, so I will now ask for IT to um, cease. Okay, further to uh, the licensing panel held earlier today on Friday 12th of June 2020 at 2 p.m. For agenda item two, which is the application to approve a Ford Mondeo as a private hire vehicle, um, the panel have considered this and have agreed to grant this vehicle a license. Thank you.